So this is a prolongation cost claim. So if you have an extension of time uh, for three months, for example, and the employer, the contractor is actually working for three additional months of the project and he has to pay salaries. He has to pay for the indirect costs. He has to pay for his assets. For example, the staff, temporary offices, yard cost, hoist tower, crane, scaffolding, equipment, facilities. So he has to pay that. He has to pay to maintain that. The prolongation cost. So in this case, that you, this is the EOT entitlement, and this is the critical path by the contractor. So this is the concurrent delays. This is the longest path causing the delays. So this is the employer's delay. So the employer has to reimburse the contractor for the difference between the EOT itself, the three months, and the one month by the concurrent delays. So in other words, out of three months of the EOT, the contractor is staying in the project because of his own default. So I'm not, as an employer, I am not responsible or I should not reimburse him for the one month stay.